Greetings all, peace and much love. I greet you in the greatest speed and I will that you are feeling great this day. And um, yes, the day will be optimum for you. Today is the 24th of the third month. 24 being a sixth vibration, a vibration of harmony, peace, family, beauty, material acquisition, material abundance, a manifesting number when it comes to numerology. And um, in numerology, Venus rules the energy of number six. Okay, which I find very interesting because today is Venus Day. And yes, Friday is commonly the uh, feminine energy. Um, I used to think and feel there was more of like a, a Shango energy. And that was because of um, Friday always seemingly like that day when everybody unwinds. Of course, it's the weekend, so a lot of people are off work for the next few days. And they're able to just, you know, let their hair down a little bit. And so you get a lot of people coming out, enjoying their time, with, you know, socially. And um, I used to find that charmers were at their peak, at their best game at this time. And I know that Shango is that energy of charm, you know, as well as that um, very um, masculine energy at the same time. Um, so I'm just, I say that to say that. If anybody did used to take on um, my inner standings and I used to, you know, let people know that Friday is Shango Day, I now realise that no, Friday is not Shango Day. It is still that charming, loving energy, that communal energy, that bringing people together energy, um, but it's not Shango. It is Venus. It is that feminine energy. Okay. Yes, I'm glad I got that out. Um, okay, so today's colour is green. Green, abundance again, love again, um, nature again, you know. Colour is green, number is six. Archetype is Venus, all female principles. And... Today's message talks about being graceful. Archangel Gabriel, the divine messenger, is here to tell us that we may have um, been in a state where we felt less than graceful, but we have to remind ourselves that we are divine. We come from a divine source, and our essence is divine, but also grace. And we have to move our way from troubled waters into cleaner, clearer, purer energies in which we can rebalance and regain that grace within. Okay? And uh, you also have Six of Michaels, which is the Six of Swords. And um, this card is talking about um, being at the end of a tether or being at the end of a situation. And being able to breathe a sigh of relief and being able to make new plans. And it reads uh, relocation or, or travel is also a focus or imminent or just something that is um, at the forefront at this time. Okay. You also have relocation. Sorry, relocation. Reconciliation for love this day. It reads someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so that, you know, speaks for itself. But remember we spoke about yesterday, we have to be able to release the old, to embrace the new. And that doesn't mean, like, you have to not deal with anybody that's come from your past. But you can't deal with them in the same way. If you are going to deal with the old, then you have to learn the lessons from the old situation. And treat the old situation with new perspectives, new eyes, new way, way about, okay, and uh, the 
relationship vortex message reads beneficial beliefs feel better when i think them and the back of this card just made me like wow it just i it was like a cringe but not in a bad sense at all it almost made me tear up it was like oh i needed to hear that and i thank you for even yeah, well i thank my my higher self the infinite one my guides for moving me to do these daily affirmations because um it's really been helpful and this is like day five or something or you know even day five this is day four and i'm just i'm feeling really empowered and i hope and will that you are too okay do let me know if they're beneficial because i actually plan to do them and um, monetize them actually and that was the initial plan but i decided let me just do maybe a week to just have it open and then bring people in in a different way um it won't be much a little three pounds or something just to help me get by too <laughs> yes um yeah so but they've been very helpful and this message it just spoke about how to know when something's really actually good or not so good for you because sometimes we think we know what it is but it's not and it made a clear distinction that whatever you think it is good for you, the more you think it, the difference between knowing what's actually really good for you and what's not good for you. And sometimes you yourself might not realize it instinctively, but it takes you going through something or a few times for you to realize. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing. And it basically distinct, it, dis it basically made clear to me <laughs> that the more you think about something and it makes you feel good then that is what's for you the more you think about it and the less it makes you feel good or the more questions the more angst that you have around that situation that's a sure telltale sign that is not the greatest for you okay and um, I battle with this myself. Like sometimes you go through situations and you kind of just let these neurons just form by just thinking about things over and over and over again and not really getting to a solution. But that is very detrimental. Those are the kind of things that kind of bring on strokes and stuff when you're just overly trying to synthesize these situations and not releasing them, you know, or not getting to any kind of solution or resolution about them. Don't overthink. I'm learning. <laughs> and I'm actually getting really good with it. I, I don't think I think as much as I used to. I definitely still do think I'm a, I'm a thinker. But um, I'm trying not to be too analytical, too logical over my, you know, my emotional and my, you know, spiritual mind, you know, all of that. And always the key is balance because we need a bit of both. But um, yes, I don't really mean to go so long with these messages. You know, more than 10 minutes, but it's creeping up. The first one I thought was a standard time, like less than five would be good. But it's creeping up to nine minutes. So um, not that I want to rush anything or not say everything I need to say, but I don't want to ramble either. So the message, the power for today is to know that you are grace reclaim regain reignite your grace within and shine without okay when you're thinking and you want to make sure that your thought tracks is in alignment with your higher self whatever resonates as the highest vibration feels good innately imminently okay what you thinking uh, whatever it is that you're thinking through and it doesn't make you feel good over time then that's not the one Okay, know that there are new, new, newness coming, like in every way, shape and form. And if you're thinking about relocating and traveling, you got to go ahead, shake off the dust and keep pushing. Okay, much love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.